Hey, Johnny Pete. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> um, quick C check. You will be in the key of C. Hey, I believe this is the first time we're doing the uh, live lesson with the new homemade chamisen. This is um, what I call the Viper. <clears throat> Why? Because there is a lot of snake wood on it. I'll show you closer. Um, first, we've got a special wooden nail, which I made, um, which is made from snake wood right there. Um, body is, the dough is bubinga, um, but the top side is snake wood too, the top of the saw. Um, bottom is uh, pamel uh, sapel or sapeli. Um, and then the itomaki as well. Uh, itomaki or snake wood as well. Like so. so it's quite a beast. Um, I was intending originally to cut a hole in the tension right, oops, tension right here. Kind of where my if my finger was the part that's cut out, it would look like a um, shoo, almost like you know uh, fangs, as it were. But I thought that'd be going a little too far, so I decided not to do that. Kind of happy I did. Um, yeah, there's a um, metal rod inside, um, kind of as a truss a truss rod, but without tension. And the nail as well, not the nail, the uh, nakago, the spike inside, I inserted metal there. And the wooden nail is um, screwed into the metal of the... The metal here is connecting the nail to the metal in the nakago, and a short distance from that to the metal in the sol. So there's a lot of... Um, connection with the metal. And from what Reagan said, um, is that really helps sound, um, the sound mechanics, the sound quality. Again, as I've said many times, the skin is lead, contributes to 80% of the sound quality. Um, so who knows how much of a difference that makes. However, I do think uh, it does seem that the nail does make a difference, more sustained, louder and such. And I did coat the inside of the dough with urushi and uh, Shokunin-san, a um, craftsman guy I know in the, uh, Japan, says that it's kind of a myth about um, putting urushi on the inside to kind of give a brighter, clearer sound. Um, he says it's a myth. We'll certainly hear, I do believe it sounds much clearer, or quite, uh, noticeably clearer. Um, but who knows, there's kind of uh, too many factors going on at once. The urushi, the metal in the saw, the metal in the nakago, and then the nail. So who knows what's going on, but definitely I have to use um, uh, the, the bone tipped coma is way too bright and I have to put it in at least four finger widths uh, instead of three finger widths from the edge because it's still kind of un a little too unbalanced. Um, all in all, it's good. Um, oh, I put in some markers just uh, this morning. This, despite all these little dots here along, it doesn't really help <laughs> with finding the notes. Um, and it's no bezal too, but so I put up the 6 there, 10 there, and then 18 there. So more than enough. Or, well, just, just enough. Um, all around sounds good. <laughs> Super resonant. Um, only problem, kind of, when we get below three, just on the sanoi toe. Huh. 
for some reason, actually, it's been getting better, but uh, the past the few days after setting it up. Oh, nice. The few days after setting it up, two, three, one was uh, un discomfortably, uncomfortably buzzy. Kind of that level. But probably changing the comma location and such helps balance that out. Actually, so it's better than before. Um, yes. Oh, hey, heavy metal, Carl. Hey, so, um, oh, there's no, no hurt snakes. This is, uh, no snakes were harmed in the creation of this shamisen, for sure. Uh, just the tree. Um, Johnny, if I ever get around to actually making my own shamisen, it's going to be lizard themes. Lizard, li lizard themed. That's a good idea. There's a particular wood called a leopard wood, which looks a lot like looks a lot like snake wood but is a bit softer i think which is bet which is good um and cheaper which is also good um what i've heard is that snake wood actually cracks really easily when dropped or exposed to high heat um so yeah not not always the best stuff to use um hey um connor hey michael um hey i got a new kind of shirt why um uh, last week, Ronin Tycho's very own Roy Anderson came to visit um, for to get some private lessons with my dad and we and for us to rehearse uh, for next month's concert. And he's a big thrift store uh, guy, so we went to Goodwill and other thrift stores to look for shirts. I looked around for material for dokake to kind of use for to make lacquer dokake, maybe self and such. Um, and well, I found this one, and uh, this is kind of, I'm not usually a skull person, you know, but it's the first one I ever saw where it's on a button shirt, because usually these kind of shirts are on t-shirts, which I don't wear. So, you know, it's kind of cool how it just lines up in the center in the button, so uh, I couldn't resist. And it's a jester, which is my style, because I can be silly at times. Um... Oh, Jose, hi everyone. Chat on Chrome didn't work, so I have to change to Internet Explorer. Oh well, we'll survive. Um, oh, and, oh, and I, let me switch to the other cam because I have a few, uh, found some really cool shirts that I've already made partially into Dokake. One, I couldn't believe my luck. Here in Santa Cruz, California, there is a um, Yamato, I believe, Yamato uh, Taiko. It's a, on the same line as Kodo and, and Ondekoza, I think, level of proness uh, Taiko group, and they had a shirt in the thrift store. And this was on the back of the shirt. I think this is for Y Yamamoto, or Yamato, um, in the Mitsudomoe, which is on usually Taiko drums and such and such. And then, of course, the front had another thing, but um, this really was the coolest part of it, in my opinion. So that will look pretty nice. It still has some adhesive stuff, so I'm not gonna fully stick it on, but we can just see how it looks. Oh my, that looks nice. Probably we'll go with this. However, there's one more that was too cool for school, as the kids used to say, um, but I'm sure you'll all agree. This is pretty wild. Zwing! Yes, root, root 66. Um, this is a, from a, let's see, oak, what does it say, Oakman, Oatman, an Oatman bike rally or bike race thingy in 2008. This was the shirt. And over, let's see, over here was, he's on a, he's holding a motorcycle right here. Uh, alas, that couldn't fit on the Dokake, but I thought it was pretty cool. I couldn't resist that. Um, I'll try, I'm not, again, I'm not a skull person, but it is really cool. I'll see if it's my style and I'll try using it. If not, I'll have this available for people to, who are interested. Um, keep note, it is one of a kind. I mean, 
um, unlike the bachido dokake, where I, I can get a, um, a lot of material to make, you know, the kind of the same thing. This is just one shirt I found uh, at the thrift store. So who knows? Uh, yeah, it matches. Um, oh, I made these. Yes, Jose. Um, uh, Roderick. Um, Kyle, could you make a video where you put measures for the saw on the shamisen so beginners can mark them? Or a video on sanshin? Uh, yes. Um, go to the... Go to Bachido personal cam? Yes. Um, Go to Bachido um, to the school page, Crash Course, and then click on Crash Course chap uh, Part 1. Um, one of the videos, I think it's Preparing Your Shamisen or Measure Ones, one of those videos has a subsection um, called, um, it's about putting markers on your shamisen. So that should be able to help you out. A free video. Oh, and that's not all. Uh, uh, one more. Oh, uh, yeah, one more. Actually, there's two more. One is a, a raven or a crow going over, um, but it's part of a Harley Davidson shirt. I just took that. It's upstairs. I'll be lacquering it later. Uh, the final one that I got. Sh -sh 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 -swing. Whoa, Nelly. And what's kind of cool about it is that where it sticks on, where you play is where the, where his mouth is. So he's ready to take a nibble whenever you spark him back to life with your sweet licks. Uh, I'll show you the crow one uh, when it gets done. Oh, Roderick. Um, Roderick, sorry. Um, uh, in the book, it all it shows the position marks actually um, for all the all the places in the book. That should be able, that should uh, help as well. Um, I need dokek with the taiko no uh, tatsujin. Is that what this is? I might end up using this one, but if not, I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, Connor. Um, I'll post it on Facebook or or let let me know if you're uh, send me a message. I think let's see. I normally sell these for 125, but because they're very one of a kind, um, I think I'll 200 or so. If that's no problem. N note that these kind of lacquer dokake and such, when it's that really thick, nice lacquer, those tend to be. 300, 400, and higher than that. So it's actually much, much more discounted. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, okay, I think that's about it. Oh, finally, uh, personal cam. Uh, last month, I, I've i been recording material for the uh, Shami Camp, uh, mini songs for Shami Camp. And I connected, we only have one good mic in the house, and it's for the Abbott family band, but I've been using it for recording songs. Uh, though at our last gig, I accidentally left it at home, connected into my studio, only realizing it when we were just a mile from the gig, which was an hour away. So needless to say, my family decided I should probably get my own microphone. And I did, the Bluebird SL. Um, modern crystal clear sound. Quite reasonable price, I think, compared to the other microphones tend to be 500, 600, and such. This is 300. Um, and, well, let's see if it's good. Uh, Nita-san recommended it. It's good for his shamisen. Hopefully it should be good for mine. It's really hard to have a microphone that you know picks up shamisen nicely without you know, blasting it out or, I don't know, sounding too thin. We'll see what happens. Um, okay, so let's let's without further ado, let's get into today's to today's drill. So I was playing of uh, noodling around a few days ago, and kind of getting into this rhythm. So 
So I thought that would be kind of a cool thing to show. Um, so let's all do this together. I'll go to DoCam. So firstly, the, before we get into this, the rhythm will be will be uh, Nino Ito strike once, da, and strike again. Da pause da da. Uh, Stano Ito. Tuning uh, C Niagari. Um, da, 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 da. And after you do da, 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 uh, mute the strings. Da, 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 da. If you want, you could even do that after the first da. Play around, you could either do the first, give a little time to ring out, da, 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 da. So just mute the first one or mute both. Da, 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 da. Or don't mute any of them. Anything's good. Da, 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 da. Um, two, two, three, two, two, three, two. Second string, third string. Oh, good night, Roderick. Uh, glad you could join. Two, two, three, two, two, three, two, 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 three, two, two, three, two, 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 three, two, two, three, two. Um, let's put our finger on sonoito six, three, uh, or six, yeah, yeah. And we're going to do Two, and I say two is middle string, three is third string. Two, two, three, two, two, three, two. And having that uh, mute there really changes it, doesn't it? So we got a feeling for that rhythm. If there's any questions, please let me know. Now let's, assuming we've got that, um, let's add in the harmony portion to practice. So we're going to always be using our, um, we'll be always be pressing down Nino Ito and San Ito, starting with four, position four Nino Ito, Six sonoito. And if you want to take it a step further, you can mute with your middle fingers, middle ring. Seven. And again, if you want me to go over anything, please let me know. Um, seven, seven, nine. It should sound like that. This is good practice for myself too. And we'll go back to four and six. Again. Oh, that's pretty cool. We'll do that later though. Seven nine. Four six. Uh, 
seven nine. Four six. Seven nine. Um oh hey, Naya san shan. Um Yes, shamisen can be quite expensive. However, check out, um, type in if this can, oh yeah, as Johnny, Johnny has this instrument called a shabo. Um, and it's, oh, it's this. He has a different version, but this is one of them. Um, and it's a great way to get started. Once it's in tune. two different models, um, one which is right over there, but I'm all wired up, so I can't go get it, but um, yeah, check it out. Um, you guys on that? Uh, oh, let me get that for you. Store, Shabo. Fun fact about the Shabo, um, I recently heard, um, Link. There it is. I recently heard that the maker of the Shabo, because it, it's so popular in Japan, that I think he's um, getting flooded with orders that he's just constantly, or having someone constantly make them, not stopping. So um, kind of be, that said, he's going to be increasing the price. He'll be using fancier materials. I think kinds of Kolki or, I don't know, more expensive materials um, and increasing the price to... 200 250 dollars something around there um which is i think a bit of a shame because you know having the low price was a great way to get people started um that said or uh, my one of my partners nita-san and his um associate they are working to get all the lower price chavos now Kind of just buy buy them out, so then we'll have them for Bachido members like yourself. Um, I think maybe like twenty or so, so it can keep on a bit more. But yes, it's that it's interesting to know. Uh, so eventually, um, you guys with your lower than two hundred dollar shabbos will say, "I got in at the right time at the beginning." Um, <laughs> Um, they're coming from Toyama. Oh, where's the E coming from? Oh, oh, I see. Never mind. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Was I showing something? What were we doing? Um, we were doing something. Um, okay. Well, uh, so next, there's nothing else, I think. Um, a great, I was going to say that, a great thing about this drill is that um, it gives you time to uh, adjust because you hit the notes individually. Da, 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 and space it between. So like you're, for up here, I tend to, have been tending to put my pinky a little too far up. Which is off. However, if I hear that, do, do, da, I can instantly bring my finger down. Um, and then if doing that um, over and over again, that will um, eventually your, mus your fingers will adjust. Um, and that'll um, help you going forward. So we do four, four, six, four, four, six, four, 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 six, four, four, six, four, seven, seven, nine, seven. There again. 
Next, nine, nine, ten, nine. Then, oh, we'll do that. Four, four, six, four, four, six, four, 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 six, four, four, six, four, seven, seven, nine, seven, seven, nine, seven. Eleven, thirteen, eleven. Now, what you can do if you want is play around. Go ten. I'm oh, sorry. Eleven, ele eleven, 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 thirteen, eleven, eleven, twelve, eleven. You can put. You can move your fingers in between. So we went 13, 12, 10. That kind of thing, if you want. But for simplicity now, we'll do just 11, 13. On your own, feel free to experiment. Then 10, 12. Uh, 9, 9, 10. Then 7 and 10. And to get this kind of stretch, we will, you'll, you will, we will all put our thumb on the side, on the outside, as it were, or closer to our uh, palm. Instead of, like this as usual, this will rotate outward. And that'll allow us to get more of an extension. Mike talked about it in his class quite a, quite a bit. See where the thumb is? It's just pressing against the back of the saw. Not here. So that. Um, so we did. Um, Then six, we're going to do. We're going to do six and ten, which is quite a stretch. And you can hop your um, index finger off if you want. If you need to reach. And then, I believe that's flat. It's the flat sign on your fujaku if you have one. So, um, from 10, 11, 13, downward, 11, 13, 10, 12. Six and then a flat. And then four and six. Then we can go down um, three and four. Ninoto, three sonoto. Then 
two saito open nino tone then i would go zero two sharp and then start again at four four six four four six four so let me repeat that two zero zero two zero zero two zero 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 two zero zero two sharp four four six four four six and of course you don't have to go you don't have to do do two two loop. Of course, you don't have to do two repetitions. You can just go. Yes, we do deliver to France. Um, Mark, um, so what? So was nice to get my chamisen fixed for today. See y'all later. They pretty much deliver anywhere's eye. Thanks for coming, Mark. Uh, this is a pretty cool drill, isn't it, Michael? Feel free to do this for the challenge. Uh, today was going to be the deadline. However, what challenge is this? It's not a challenge. Oh, it's a contest. It's a contest to win. Um, premium Bachido swag, um, namely a Shamisen California from 2016 um, poster, including the names of all the instructors who attended uh, Aki Takashi, myself, Kevin Metz, Masahiro Nita, Mike Penny, Rodegan Fuji, San Jose Japan Town. Uh, you can win this along with my solo album, Kyle Abbott. The cuckoo and premium uh, bachito button adhesive i mean iron-on or sewable patch uh, embroidered patch and three stickers um, so today was going to be the deadline for it however joel asked for an extra day and he's such a nice guy that might as well grant him that um, and some of you of course haven't uh, entered your video yet so this gives you another chance uh, the deadline was going to be tomorrow. He wants it tomorrow. I'll just say next week is the final. Uh, next week's live thing is the... We will announce the winner. So please submit your video by then. Um, if you recall... Do we recall? Do I recall? Um, the contest... Velcro. The contest... The thing that started the contest was the... <laughs> Um, however, if you want to do um, this one, is fine too. The um, and you don't have to if you don't want to. You don't have to stick exactly to there. You can do da 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 da. da, -da, -da. You can throw that in. change notes during it.
That's fine too. Anything you want to do. Um. That's cool too. Mm hmm. Let's see. That's all the death. Oh, no one's watch. I uh, should announce it first. Carl Hedlund says, "Live up the shirt, Kyle. Let's see some head banging and death growl." That's for those who are watching this later. That's why that came out. Um, let's see. Oh <laughs> yeah. I am Jester. I jest you not. Yeah. Let's see. In the in that's with the music. I am Jester. I jest you not. I expect that in your. Your video, Carl. Get your baby into it, too. <laughs> oh, sorry, Derple Purple. Blame Carl for that. Um... That's fun stuff too. Did I ever show you how to do the uh, growly kind of thing? Just for the low growls, I'll take this off. Um, if we start with a car garage, the uh, which is the traditional tube and throat singing, and to get into that is the, um, um, what would you call that? If you're thinking, or, I have to take out the, the laundry again, or the garbage again. <sighs> that kind of sigh getting your ventricular fold to vibrate. <sighs> Feels those vibrating there. <sighs> oh, it can help to close your um, your lips <sighs> to get back pressure. <sighs> Ooh, lightheaded. Um, it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> and there's videos uh, on the YouTubers um, where you can find out more of the details, but long story short, that's that. <laughs> changing your mouth um, you can adjust the harmonic yay Connor, Connor you can do third thing too um, and with that the tongue is sticking out I mean not literally sticking out but the the back of the tongue is pushed forward turn that into the growling is just slide your tongue back, the back of your tongue back. I am just her, I just do not, I am just her. I just do not. Cool stuff. Oh, right, he did bring it up in the uh, the live, didn't I? I haven't done it in a long time. Um, funny thing, Carl gave uh, hooked me up with a lot of great uh, growling slash screaming, uh, as it were, screaming, uh, middle growls, that's what I call it, middle vocal bands, like Soil Work and 
Did he get many children in Bodum? I think so. No, he didn't. Soil work was the main one. And I think all that remains as well. At least soil work, um, which is my all-time favorite. But, and Trivium, too. But ironic as uh, he's not into growling or that kind of music anyway. Um, okay. Um, oh, to answer a question. Yeah, I'll bring out that shabo. And let me just show you uh, Tsugaru style on it. This is it. Johnny's done some great Sugaru um, on his new Shabo, Shabo Deluxe. Uh, tsu, um, did they put, no, Yasaburo Bushi at Sugaru Minyo piece. Um, he did a great version. definitely have these um, we should definitely still have these by Christmas in terms of the uh, affordable ones um, as shamisen are typically expensive and since I'm not sure if I'll say interested yeah for for you especially um, the shabo is a great instrument to start on in fact even if you are already playing shamisen it's a lot of fun to play I enjoy it Um, Johnny, is it coma placement that makes the harmonic tones come out in different spots? Yes, because the coma, changing the coma will change the string length, as it were. So when I'm, that's what I'm just doing there to make the uh, the tone, the, the notes match up with the numbers on the fujaku. Um, I had to pull it back a little bit because it was a little bit off.
Carl Headland. If you want to play harmonics, you should think about where you strike. You should strike in places where the string vibrates and not the anti nodes, like the place you have your finger. Hmm. So once you find the harmonic, try move your bocce too. Ah, oh, yes, I see. Yeah, try moving your bocce too. Ooh, boy, it's been a while. Um, Jose, hey Kyle, how do you adjust the sawati? If you play, if you are playing to three new toe. Okay. Um, throat singing has been harder as I'm getting older. When I was younger, I could just if I'm not warming, if I'm not warmed up or into it, I could just. And smash right in and it'd be totally fine but now it hurts a bit more than before it's getting old um yeah oh yeah you can um add silk strings too if, if you want um so jose good question um two things you can do one is um I've heard that the ideal amount of sustain with the sawari on the ichinoto is six to eight seconds, I think. Mississippi two, Mississippi three, Mississippi four, Mississippi four, Mississippi. Um, and you can, it depends on, of course, the age of your string, the skin and everything. And you, but you can also adjust if you want to get more. Um, yeah, so lower, raise it to get as much as you can. Um, also, if you're wanting to, um, oh, oh, I see, um, Sanito. Yeah, basically you can also, I, okay, let's put it this way. If you have the Sawari down, first, of course, your strings have to be perfectly in tune, almost perfectly. Um, then just strike. And strike the sanui tone, just raise it up until you start to hear. Uh, you should be able to start to hear a uh, buzzing. Very slight, but it pops out. And of course, that also depends on uh, the skin age of strings and such. Resonance. Oh yeah, Achika Sawajinku is a really nice piece. Oh, oh Connor, um, send me a message. If you've got the beginner shamisen, send me a message. Um, and then I'll unlock those courses for you. Uh, yeah, it'll change. Um, silk strings should change the sound. Uh, Carl Headland, if you have a Shaiti Sawari set up, it might help Ooh, it might help to first strike each note toe and then look for... Yeah, right, right, right. Exactly. Um, uh, changing to silk strings can uh, noticeably change the tone. Um, I think, I mean, of course, skin plays a big deal, um, but if you, um, I think like if you were to change the Ichinoto, Ichinoto, especially, a certain tone of the um, shamisen would go away, I think, would be drastically different. Maybe it would sound more mountain banjo-ish? Well, I'm not sure. I think it does contribute to the tone. Um, Smooth Criminal. We're going to be doing that. Mike and I are going to be doing that um, in Atlanta in two weeks um, with the rock band, or rock slash pop band.
I practice that, yes. Um, Carl, to play Smooth Criminal by MJ, yes. Um, or do you just want to match your fancy underwear? Uh, to play Smooth Criminal by MJ. MJ. Um, oh yeah, okay, so, uh, so Durbel Purple, yes, you can totally add them to the uh, Shim Shim, to the Shabo, I mean. Um, Okay. Uh, well, let me just do this a few times, and of course this will be in the notation for those who are uh, getting the notation for the class. So, four, six.
richness you can bring to your shamisen. This in combination with the... It's just a matter of uh, experimenting. speed. I think it's kind of cool to have to keep the ding do ding do. transitions uh, like um, seven nine ten nine nine ten thirteen eleven nine ten thirteen eleven eleven thirteen eleven my drill for today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope to hear some of you do it in the contest to win fabulous swag. Um, let's see, September is almost here. Um, no weekday plans. We should still have class on Thursday next week, so hope to see you there. Um, a lot of preparing for Japan in October. But I'll definitely have time for this. Uh, okay, well, thank you all for joining. Uh, have a great week. Uh, if you feel like it, make a video of your attempt at this drill-ish thing and share it to the Bachido uh, Facebook group or a forum, too. Uh, okay, see y'all, everybody. Oh, before we finish. That just reminded me. Live contest until next week, Jose. Um, you got time. You got time. Make it happen. Make it happen. Sundays. Do use your Sundays. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.
Have you turned this off?